Breakout Kids Club. I can't believe it's almost Christmas. I'm so excited. Who else is excited? Let me hear you. Oh man, I wish I could hear you through my phone. I would totally hear you being so excited. At Christmas, we celebrate something super important. Christmas means celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. I don't know about you, but I like to try to figure out what kinds of Christmas gifts I'm getting. Like when I come out Christmas morning and the gifts are under the tree, maybe I shake them or squeeze them and feel how heavy they are. I mean, I know that in just a little bit I'll open them, but it's fun to try to figure out what might be in the box. Hey, that's what our game is about today. It's called Shake It Up. I'm going to check out each of my five wrapped boxes. I'll pick them up, I'll shake them. Um, I definitely won't open them yet. I'll throw, I won't throw them, no, no. I'll tear the wrapping eventually and I won't crush it. But I'm gonna do everything I can to help you try to figure out what's in my box. And I want you to decide which gift is on my box, in my box. So here are some choices. I have five presents and 10 options. So you have some extras in here that I'm trying to be kind of tricky. Okay, so are you ready to see the first box? Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. What is in my box? Let's play the game. Shake it up. Are you ready? Can you hear that? I'll get a little bit closer. What is it? Take a guess. Type it in. Type in the number. You don't have to use the whole word if you don't want to. You can type in the number. Is it... A puzzle? I don't think so. I think I've got this one figured out. <laughs> Are you ready for me to open it? Did you type in your guess? Okay, here we go. Let's see if you got it right. Dun, 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 dun. It is a stuffed animal! Did you guess number 10? Nice work. It's my first Disney bear. My mom got this for me. Okay, round two, here we go. What is this gift? Let's play Shake It Up. Can you hear that? Let me get a little bit closer. something hard right here. Yeah, there's something hard on this side. Hmm, what could it be? Take your guess. What's in my box? Are you ready? <sighs> this wear me out. Do you get worn out opening presents? I don't know. Okay, ready? Here we go. just holding what was in here. I got you. It's earphones. Da, 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 da. 
Did I trick you? I put it in a big box, even though it was such a small little item. Earphones. The correct answer was number six. Earphones. Okay, we have two packages left. Are you ready? What's in my box? Let's play Shake It Up.
I know you're so excited about Christmas. I am too. I'm most excited to hear the story of the birth of Jesus. Maybe you already know the story, but I hope you'll learn something new today. Let's watch today's real and true Bible story. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. Mary's world had been turned upside down. Though she was an ordinary girl living in an unimportant town, God had sent an angel to visit her. God is very pleased with you. Me? You're talking to me? You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. Mary was probably shocked, overwhelmed, and maybe fearful, but she chose joy. She chose to trust that God loved her so much he had given her an important part to play in his story. I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Just as the angel had said, Mary became pregnant and the months raced by. Mary and her new husband Joseph prepared for the brand new baby to arrive. A cradle. I'll make him the most beautiful cradle you've ever seen. Joseph was a carpenter and took pride in creating smooth tables and sturdy cartwheels but his work was soon interrupted. Mary, Joseph, and every person in the tiny town of Nazareth streamed out of their homes. A messenger on a dusty horse skidded to a stop in the small town market. Is this really a town? It doesn't deserve a dot on the map. As the people of Nazareth watched from a careful distance, the messenger pulled out a scroll and cleared his throat. Hear ye, hear ye. Caesar Augustus orders that everyone must go to their town of origin to be counted. Can't you just count us now? One. Two. Three. No, no. The counting must be done properly and in order so we can make you pay lots of taxes. Farewell, and by that I mean good riddance. Mary and Joseph and their neighbors were left <laughs> coughing in the dust. Joseph! We'll have to go to Bethlehem, where your family is from. I'll go. You can't travel right now. Uh, of course I can. Absolutely not. A short time later, Mary and Joseph set off on the long road to Bethlehem. Perhaps they recalled the words of the prophet Micah. Bethlehem, you might not be an important town in the nation of Judah, but out of you will come for me a ruler over Israel. It's possible Mary rode on a donkey. Or she might have walked right alongside Joseph. Either way, the journey took nearly a week, and camping wasn't very comfortable for a woman about to have a baby. Please tell me your cousins will have a bed for us. Great Aunt Ada is the perfect hostess. But when they reached Bethlehem, the little town was neither silent nor still. It looks like everyone else came home too. Uh, well, if Aunt Ada doesn't have room, there's always Cousin Gideon. He, oh, he makes an excellent pigeon pie. But not a single one of Joseph's relatives had a spare room or an extra bed. Please, just anywhere. This baby is coming soon. At last, someone found them room in a place where the animals stayed. Absolutely not. We'll take it. Mary and Joseph did everything they could to get the space ready for a new baby. Clean hay, fresh water, and in a short time, Mary's baby was born. It's a boy! His name is Jesus. Mary tore a clean cloth into wide strips and tightly wrapped her baby to keep him warm and cozy. No cradle? Where will he sleep? Put fresh hay in the animal's feeding trough. We'll lay him in there. What about the sheep? They don't mind. Mary lay her tiny baby in the clean hay, the king of the whole world, sleeping in a manger next to the animals. He's perfect. Yes, he is. In the most unexpected place, at the most unexpected time, God had shown his love 
He sent his very own son as a baby to rescue the whole world. In the most unexpected place, at the most unexpected time, God showed his love. He sent his very own son as a baby to rescue the whole world. God loved us so much that he gave us a savior. That's why we celebrate Christmas. We celebrate Jesus, God's greatest gift. Let's pray. Do you remember what praying is? That's right, it's talking to God. Here we go. Dear God, thank you for showing your love by sending Jesus. You kept your promise to send a savior and you sent him at just the right time. Help us to always remember how much you love us, so much that you sent your very own son to rescue us. And help us remember the true meaning of Christmas as we celebrate with our family and our friends. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, friends, next week is a special week. This is the week that we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Jesus is the ultimate example of God's love for us. God loved us so much that he gave us a savior. God showed how much he loves us by sending Jesus to rescue us. He sent us Jesus to bring us hope and joy and peace. He proved that we can trust him no matter what. One day, Jesus would die on the cross to pay the price for our sins. If we believe and put our faith in him, we can have a relationship with God that will last until the end of today. Oh, no, that's not right. It'll last until Christmas. No, I don't think that's right either. I think our relationship will last forever. That's right. The relationship will last forever. What a wonderful gift and what a wonderful reminder of God's love. Now, I know Christmas can be very busy. There are a lot of things to be excited about, from great food to fun gifts to pretty decorations. But in the middle of everything else going on, as you celebrate Christmas, take some time to think about how much God loves you. He sent Jesus as a gift for you. God loved us so much that he gave us a savior. Let's practice this month's memory verse. Are you ready? Here it is. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Luke chapter 2, verse 11. Thank you so much for being with me today. I hope that you have the very best Christmas ever, celebrating Jesus, God's amazing gift. Merry Christmas from Breakout Kids Club, Miss Emily.